Okay, we have our top earners here, Ace and Rich speaking with us. And their topic is the power of a mastermind. So we'll get to that in just a second. Let me just say hello to everybody we have in the Zoom house. Let me approve these two really quick. All right, we have myself, Ace and Rich, who's speaking with us today, Ann Thompson Caldron, Brittany Chappelle, Chantel, David Jargison, David Starr, David Toomey, Don Wilkie, Di Lawrence, Earl Bryan Jr., Jerry Yip, Jan Harvey, Jane Duchesne, Jill Adels Adelsberger, Jim Keys, John Legacy, Joy Harris, Joyce Jolly. I think the J's are the hardest, you guys, to say over and over. Um, Joyce Jolly, Mark Aretta Riles, Marvelous Mabasso. Uh, let's see. Maurice, I hope I said that name. Phil's Amy. You'll have to shoot me a message to let me know. Nicole Harris, Rosemary Fairley, Roy Barnes, Sabrina Westfall, Scott Palmer, So Pitt Todd Hunter, Stephanie Coleman, Teresa Morrison, Tracy Lee, Valentin Hall, uh, Jalba, and then that one's already on there a second time. Okay, cool. Let me see. I'm all just combobulated, you guys. I'm exhausted. Um, let's see. Joanne Foxworth, welcome on the show. Good to see you. Mark Castillo, hello, hello. Ronnie Layton, Felicity Long, thank you guys for hopping on. Ace and Rich, I'm ready to hear this topic. Let's hear the power of a mastermind. Okay, we are unmuted. Hey, guys. How hey. are you guys doing today? <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right. So I wanted to share a quick story before I get to the content. Uh, 2009, no, actually 2008, um, a few months after I got started in business, I started learning about the power of mastermind and what it means to really not be alone in business. Um, one of the hardest things is when you're on the internet, it's a very busy highway, right? Would you guys agree? It's very busy on the internet. So much stuff going on, Amazon, YouTube, all this kind of stuff. You know, they're just like, buy this, buy that. Oh, this is good. You should get this. And it just gets crazy, right? So and trying to build a business at the same time, you get very, um, you know, distracted very easily, get overwhelmed. And it's hard to really build a business when you got all that stuff going on. But at the same time, when you're in your computer in your home, it's a very lonely place as well to try to figure things out, right? So what I've done since 2008 is I've always uh, created a mastermind, whether it's one person, three people, four people, or eight people, right? I started with one person. And that really helped me get out of my comfort zone to help me grow in the beginning. And I want to talk about that today because um, when I talk about things, it's true experience that I've had that's benefited me. So if there's something that's benefited me, I wanted to share what's benefited me. So hopefully it can benefit you as well. Okay. Because uh, when you actually have more than one mind working together, you literally start creating great ideas and you start getting more motivated. And if you get more motivated, that's when inspiration comes next. And then when you get inspired, you start taking action. Yes. Because you see the light. You see, you know, the possibilities that are endless right in front of your fingertips. And Napoleon Hill favored masterminds. When you read the actual book. Oh, right? yeah. Absolutely. He talks about masterminds yeah. in that book. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to talk about, like, pretty much, you know, just a, a few things, like the five essential rules to building a mastermind group, you know, basically to get results, okay? And then I'm going to give you um, an action step afterwards on how to just get it going okay just keep it real simple and you can start doing this just by having a, a quick uh, facebook group okay and, or you can just do um you know with one other person so let's say hey well i don't have a team or i don't know how to really get a group of people together that's okay because you can actually do it with one other person and and that's it's powerful guys let me tell you still to this day um i still mastermind with someone i've been masterminding since 2008 yes. still to this day yes all right, that's the power of getting out of your comfort zone and keep growing. And it benefits both of you, not just one of you. Remember that, okay? So the rules, guys, is I want you guys to choose your members wisely. Um, most people are going to just choose anybody. Yes. But you got to find people that are not too far ahead of you um, because it, it, it could be, you know, you're not at that level. Yes, you want to find somebody that's around your level. So let's say you have a lot of people here in the group and some people um, are brand new. Find another brand new person like you who's hungry just as much as you are, okay? Because what's going to happen is someone is always not as hungry as the other person. So I'm going to stick with two just for now for explanation. Mm -hmm. One person is not always as hungry as the other person. It always happens, okay? They could be hungry, but there's always someone else who wants it more. 
and will do more and get more uncomfortable to get things done. And what happens is the person who is not as um, willing to get uncomfortable, when they see another person get uncomfortable, they, they, they tend to shift their mindset a little bit and say, well, if she's doing it or he's doing it, I need to do it. Yes. Because if I don't do it, then I'm never going to build this business. And I'm never going to grow. So by seeing someone getting uncomfortable right in front of you in the mastermind, it's going to push you out of your comfort zone and help you move forward and get things done. Okay. So I want you guys to choose your members wisely. It's so crucial and so important. And then whoever's the leader, make sure that you set the rules, right? For the mastermind say, okay, guys, we are going to meet how often, right? That's Gotta put right. that as a rule, for example, uh, you know, once a week, uh, a few times a week in the beginning, just to get the ball rolling, get that, that momentum started, okay? Because business guys all about momentum, right? And uh, if you wanna limit how many members, it's still cool. Just, if, if, like I said, if you're brand new and you don't have anybody, try to find one person. You know, reach out in the community, right? To someone brand new. Try to Move keep along. the meetings not too long. Yeah. You know, because you guys have to focus on your marketing during the week. So if you're going to do like a mastermind, you definitely want to keep it anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes. Tops. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So have a clear agenda as well, guys. Know what you'll be talking about. So if you're in the same kind of business or in the same business, um, let's say affiliate marketing, we want to talk about like things that are going to help and benefit us in our business. You know, case in point, like, okay, where do you drive traffic today? How do you drive? Well, I didn't do nothing. Well, what's your problem? Well, you know, why are you not driving traffic? You do want to build your business, don't you? right? That's the power of masterminding together. It just pushes the other person. And not only that, but it teaches you to become that leader and you become that person that's the go-getter. You got to be okay? honest with your accountability partner. And this is where the accountability partners can actually work together. It's in that mastermind session. You need to be accountable with each other and be serious about it. If you know that the other accountability partner is not pulling their weight, you need to put them in their spot and you need to say, okay, well, listen, you know, we came into this thing together. We're running the same race, but if I'm doing what I got to do and you're not doing what you got to do, how is that getting you any closer to your goals? Exactly. And also think about this, like when you decide upon a leader, okay, let's say you got two people. Um, if one seems like it could be the, you know, the person could be the leader, don't get upset. Just go with it. Yes. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that because it, you're going to get a lot out of it. Some people, you know, some people, not everybody I've been through this. Some people have egos. Because they feel like they got to be the one. They got to be the one. They got to be the one. Mm -hmm. We must eliminate all <laughs> egos, all egos, in order to build our business. I've seen accountability partners okay. flare up over the stupidest and silliest things, but they forgot what they actually started the accountability partnership and mastermind in the first place. Yep. And and share evenly, guys. You know what I mean? Share your ideas. Share things that really mm -hmm. are, are going to help you grow your business. You know, let's say you're going through the boot camp together. What did you learn on this day? <laughs> Did you apply anything? Did you learn anything? Right? So, what's the book you Yeah. So, did you learn anything? Did you grow from our last meeting, our last mastermind? Did you learn anything from a traffic strategy? Um, how was your email marketing? Did you create your own list yet? Did you have your first autoresponder uh, set up yet? Now, all these things are essential, especially when you're brand new, right? Because most people don't really know this stuff, but they know in the training that you're being guided on what to do. So if someone's not holding their end of the bargain, you as that leader or not the leader, let's say the leader doesn't do it and the person who's not the leader does it. The person who's not the leader still has the right to say, hey, what gives? What do you mean you haven't created your autoresponder yet? What means you haven't set up uh, Sendlink? What means you haven't set up uh, Aweber? What, what, mean, what do you mean you haven't set up Kartra? What, you know, you, you gotta get in people's uh, minds when they're not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? when they're not actually taking action, okay? Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna grow from that as a leader yourself because that means you're taking the bull by the horns and you're becoming your own leader. And this is how your, your old mindset starts to shift into that leadership role. And when you shift into that leadership role and when you're actually running your business, you're more focused and you're more clear on your objective because you're being trained to be that leader. It's just like someone that you know has a job and they're an employee and when it comes to be a, you know, comes to them to be a manager, they have to learn to be that leader, that manager to actually run all the employees um, at the job. So, and that takes um, leadership and, you know, uh, training and practice and things like that. This is the same thing, but except you're doing it as an entrepreneur, you're doing it for yourself, okay? So make sure that when you share things, make sure you share things are gonna benefit each other, okay? Now, I talked about some, you know, some 
some ideas on how masterminds work and everything. So how do I get started? How do I get started with a mastermind, right? This is how I get started with a mastermind. First step is I want you guys to create a mastermind at least started with two people, okay? Just two people. That's all, all right? If you, if you have more, even better. Don't go past eight, though. Don't go past eight. Between four and eight is kind of that happy medium, right? But, like, when you're first getting started, just go with two people, yourself and someone else, okay? And then step two, I want you guys to meet weekly. All right, meet for like an hour to an hour and a half. All right, or if you don't have that much to talk about, start off with like a half hour, okay? Just for like 30 minutes, just to get things going. That's what, um, that's a good way to start because you're not overwhelming yourself or anybody else. You're actually just 30 minutes straight to the point and you're getting the information out there, okay? And then, um, and here's the thing guys, you must want to share ideas. Both that's a big one. Both of you have to share ideas. Yes. You have to. You can't, you can't say like, you know, one's sharing ideas and the other one isn't. You guys are learning the same thing. There's no excuse for not the other person or one other person not to share an idea. Right, okay? exactly. You gotta be open. You gotta really play it all out and you gotta be committed. Yes. It doesn't work if you're not committed. You can't, it doesn't work if you try to do everything your way. Otherwise, it's what's the point of masterminding, right? Exactly. And I, I, I seen people do this is, you know, because they're, they have big egos or, you know, they feel like they know everything. If you're going to do a mastermind with a total stranger and somebody you're trying to learn to build a relationship with as a partner and a running buddy, then you literally have to be open to open criticism and also ideas because that other person might have an awesome idea that might help you get better results. And you want to be open to actually applying those ideas. Yeah, Cause exactly. there's plenty of times since, you know, 2008, you've been working with your partner we bounce ideas yeah, every single yeah. time and they always seem to we just work. had a meeting um yeah uh, what was it um a few days ago yep. um again yeah and we talked about like how other responders are changing um you know and things like that we went through some really good stuff mm -hmm. so um so here's the thing guys besides sharing ideas okay um i want you to start learning to share the problems too okay share the problems mm -hmm. Okay, because if you can't share problems, you won't know how to solve them. If you don't know how to share the problems, you're not going to learn to solve them. Okay? Yes. So by you sharing the problems, you guys can mastermind together and learn how to create ideas to solve those problems. This is so huge, guys. This is so beneficial. It's going to literally help your business. Not only that, you, but Rich, it's going to save them time. Because is. you won't have to run to you know, the community inside the insider group and start posting questions about technical stuff. Super affiliate networks not for that. You need to have like somebody you can actually send that information to and say, hey, you know, my autoresponder is not working for some reason. My emails are not. Right. And the other person reason. probably just nailed it like nothing. Exactly. Like, wow, like I, I, I got this. I understand. Yeah. Okay, so how did you solve that problem? Can you show me? That's what a mastermind is all about. Yeah. All right? It helps you just get past those pain in the ass of things that keep people <laughs> stuck. Okay. Yeah. So now you share the problems, right, guys? And you also share the opportunities, like I said. But when you share something, here's the secret, guys. Start off with the positive stuff. Start off with the positive stuff first, what's working for you and what you understand and what you're obtaining and what you're getting in your mind when yes. you're learning a new skill set. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So then once you do that, then you can start sharing the problem after the positive, which is very, very important. This is how you really put a mastermind group together effectively. Now, the last one I want to share with you is and how to you know, really uh, put their mastermind group together is that share appreciations. Appreciate the other person uh, for what they're achieving. Like I said, if that person created their autoresponder faster than you did, don't get upset, right? Everybody learns differently. It's not the wrong way. There's no wrong or right way. It's just it is what it is. So what I want to do is if someone accomplished something, share their appreciation. Because when you do, they might want to help you, right? Because you have to share and appreciate when someone's growing. Just like when you are growing yourself, they should appreciate you too. Commonality okay. with that is an example, Starzy, right? She's a community manager. And inside the pro group, when you actually upgrade to pro, she celebrates the wins. So she calls it Who's Winning Wednesday. And pretty much she posts in there who's winning, who's actually having good strides forward, getting results, you know, not always focusing on making sales, but who's winning, who's accomplishing something, who's, you know, broke through. Like that's what we actually celebrate in the pro group. Right. And like I said, guys, you can do this 
Um, I mean, what I recommend is, well, for me, when I first started and we were building a business together, we were getting together daily for like the first month. In the beginning. Yeah, we were getting together daily. And then we backed it up to like a couple times a week. And now we backed it up to like once a week. Mm-hmm. And then now like every, you know, once every two weeks, right? Right. Um, but in the beginning to gain that momentum, because business is about gaining momentum, is you want to make sure that you're focusing on, you know, just getting things going and start building that momentum. So I would recommend, you know, if, if you both are literally both on the same page, you're trying to build your business, you're yes. really serious about it, yes. then that means that if you, you, you know, I want to get together with you daily for like 30 minutes, let's do it. Okay. What's your schedule? Okay. Let's find out the best day for both of us and agree on that. And when you agree on it, you stick with it. Come hella high water. Somebody better pass away or something. Okay. That's how serious you got to treat it guys. Yes. So this is the way we were taught. Okay. When I started with this person who messed money in the beginning, we did a course on that. And they said, you know, unless somebody passed away, you better show up for that, for that meeting. Because your life depends on it. Your business depends on it. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's what we got to treat it. So when this happens, guys, this is where you start getting out of your comfort zone. Like I said, this is when your business starts to take new shape. Okay. This is the secret to masterminds and getting together and working together and growing and having things happen and change in your life and your business. Okay. And you're going to look at, you know, love it so much that you start talking about other things that are related to business, like diet, exercise. Why is that important? Because that, that ties into business, right? You got to eat healthy. You have to exercise. So you're around for the long haul. So you have more energy to produce in your business. Okay. That's the key. A lot of great things about mastermind. I, I, I highly recommend it guys that you really take advantage of what I'm sharing with you today. And if you don't have anybody, go on the community, ask someone if they're looking for a mastermind member. I like to you know, partner up with someone to work together so we could uh, bounce ideas off each other and meet once a week. So, you know, and be serious about it, post it up there, right? And then if somebody, you know, comes up, hey, I want to I, I be a partner. I want to work with you and stuff like that. Great. Yeah, you can where even post you? your location and say, hey, I'm out here, you know, you know, wherever you're at. I'm in Vegas. Is there anybody in Vegas? Like the accountability partner. Right, but you know? more than likely it's all over the internet people are It not. is. You can do so, things close to the time zone. Right. But let's focus on um, yeah. online for a second here. Yeah. So when you're online with somebody for like that day, okay, and let's say you meet somebody, somebody says, I want to be your accountability partner, and you put it on the uh, Facebook group, Facebook affiliate network. If that person, you, you know, you want to make sure you ask them first, like, where are you in your business? What steps are you are in the boot camp? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's very important to understand because if they're in the boot camp just like you, well, guess what? You guys are going to be around that same pace. You guys can grow together mm-hmm. and, get, and get ideas from each other and start taking your business more seriously. Like I said, guys, the internet is a very, very busy place. But at the same time, when you're at home and you're on this computer, okay, and you're staring through this monitor, guess what happens? It's also very lonely. Very lonely when trying to figure stuff out for yourself. But what I wanted to say is your accountability partner, we never met. We never met in person. They're in Oregon. We're over here in Massachusetts. So we make it work by using video conferencing like Zoom, like this, yes. or Skype. Yeah. You know, so exchange that contact information. They don't have to live where you live. They just need to have their availability open for that time. Exactly. For that time lock. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so guys, start your mastermind today. These are the benefits that will help you grow in your business if you start a mastermind. Uh, people call it running buddy system, but a mastermind can be with two people, four people, six people, eight people. I would definitely do no more than eight people if you want to do it in a group setting. The more, the merrier, and the more powerful it can get. But not everybody has a group. They're brand new, so you start off with one other person. And just take advantage, because if you take advantage of that, guys, it's going to really take you to the next level. It'll actually catapult you to the stratosphere, because you literally are getting out of your comfort zone. You're sharing ideas, and you're getting new ideas that you never even thought of before. And that's the power of a mastermind. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's live. Today was all about creating a mastermind and and, and the benefits of it. That way you guys can go out there and crush it in your business. All right. Thanks, Amber.